Tesla's full self-driving software is about to change forever. We've reached an incredible inflection point in the development of the software that has implications for the stock price moving forward and for the content that we create around Tesla's full self-driving. So what is this inflection point? What is this massive change? Well, it has to do with our expectations of the software. Up until this moment, people's expectation is that it's a heavily flawed software, and that's because it was. So when you would watch videos, you'd see it do a lot of things correctly. It would generally be able to drive down the street correctly, and it'd be able to take a lot of turns correctly. But there were certain things that were just too complex, certain situations with too much going on that would cause it to trip and fall over. And so our expectation was, yeah, it can do basic scenarios fine, but anything too complex and it starts to fall over. But we've crossed a line in the sand now. Our expectations have now flipped. We now expect the software to do pretty much perfectly in almost all circumstances, including complex ones like construction or roundabout or handling pedestrians who bolt out into the middle of the street. It now does the correct thing in all of these situations almost all of the time. I'm, and I can only speak for myself, so you'll have to tell me in the comments whether your intuition lines up with mine here. But what I'm feeling is that I'm suddenly a lot less interested in full self-driving videos that just show someone driving with the car for 20 minutes and, you know, commenting on everything it's doing because I pretty much expect the car to do, you know, almost everything correctly, basically. Once you've seen it handle construction, once you've seen it handle pedestrians, once you've seen it pull over to the side of a narrow road and yield right of way to someone else properly and comfortably, these things just aren't interesting or entertaining anymore. We get it. It can do almost everything. So now the question flips. The question now is not what can it do? The question is what can it not do? So I'm planting the flag now. Not that this is a huge channel, and not that I have tons of subscribers who have big expectations of my content, but I want to be one of the first to say that I think we've reached this inflection point. And I'm going to put my money where my mouth is, so to speak, and there's going to be a shift in the type of content that I'm producing. Uh, for the most part, moving forward, I will be focusing my content on tracking disengagements and points of failure with the software, and tracking it across versions to see if things get fixed from version to version. We will revisit certain scenarios that the car almost always or always fails and see at what point it gets fixed. And we'll, we'll dissect why we think the problems are happening. Is it something that they can fix with training? Is it a situation where they need to uh, geographically limit where the car can go? Is it a hardware problem? These are now the questions that become the most interesting. We are at the limits. We are in the march of nines of the software, I believe. And so my content moving forward is going to reflect that. And I think what I predict is that you're gonna see other YouTubers do the same thing. I do think there's still a little bit of opportunity just to create uh, compilations of the car doing the right thing, really more as a way of spreading awareness but in terms of videos that are aimed specifically at the FSD community, the Tesla community, the tech community, who, who are invested and interested in what's going on in this space, I think we're already at the point where seeing it do the right thing is boring. So my content moving forward is primarily going to be disengagements, interventions, points of failure of any kind, and trying to understand better what those failures are and tracking whether they get fixed. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching, and that's what you can expect from this channel moving forward. Talk to you in the comments.